Hey guys, it's Luke Million here. Today I'm taking you through my recreation of Another Brick in the Wall, part two. Pink Floyd are one of my favorite bands of all time. I first discovered their music when I was 16 years old at a friend's birthday party. Dark Side of the Moon came on and my mind was totally blown. After that, I went on to listen to Wish You Were Here, Animals, and The Wall, which is where I fell in love with another brick in the wall. I used a lot of my favorite synths in this recreation to take things to a place that sits somewhere between a Tyler Disco and Synthwave. So we've got my favorite, the Oberheim OB-8. And also the Multimoog, which I use for the bass. This is actually my favorite keyboard for bass sounds, full stop. And when it came to the guitar solo, I kind of had no idea what I was going to do. And I ended up using my Roland SH2, which is actually the first synth that I got. For the sound effects, I use a Korg MS-20. Now this synth, it can make you know, such a range of sounds, but seriously, I just love it for sounds like this. And for the strings that you hear throughout the track, it's a Selena String Ensemble. very iconic 70s string sound. For the drums, I used an Ableton rack loaded with samples of a Lindrum. I wanted to funk things up a little bit, so in place of the original rhythmic guitar, I chose to use the Hona D6 clavinet. And finally, we have the centerpiece of this recreation, the vocoder. Now, this is the Roland VP330 Vocoder Plus from 1979. And throughout the series of recreations that I'm going to do, it's going to be used quite a bit. So instead of the original vocal, we have this. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. So that's the story of my recreation of Another Brick in the Wall Part 2. There's more to come, but for now you can stream, download from your favourite DSP. The link is in the description. I'll see you next time.